In just the first 100 days or so since the inauguration, things in Washington really changed so much. Uh, in an in infrastructure proposal, that's one of the, the Biden administration's first legislative priorities, it was also a priority under the Trump administration, didn't quite get accomplished. Do you see the conditions now as being right for an infrastructure deal? I think there was a great deal of effort uh, exerted to have an infrastructure bill passed under the previous administration. That bill was not 100% deficit spending. It actually included public-private partnerships and leveraging off of private sector financing options. It was a creative way to fund our infrastructure because you know, there's just not limitless amounts of money around. Unfortunately, uh, the proposal was rejected on a, on a partisan basis and the previous administration never had a chance to move it forward. I think there was deep-seated distrust of uh, relying upon the private sector or using the private sector or even allowing the private sector to participate in the financing of public infrastructure. In the Biden administration's infrastructure proposal, the definition of infrastructure is stretched a little bit. Yeah. Things like child care subsidies, like a health care expansion, considered infrastructure under that. Do you agree with some of the things that are considered infrastructure under this proposal? Well, I don't think anybody disagrees that there needs to be investment in our infrastructure. So even though the previous administration was not able to pass an infrastructure bill, uh, we nevertheless invested well over $330 billion in three years to you know, shore up our infrastructure. The programs that are being discussed, um, you know, I was the former Secretary of Labor. I support job training. The question is, what is the proper role of government? What is the um, description of infrastructure? And while these programs that are not related to transportation infrastructure may be worthwhile, should they be included in this particular bill? And I think that is a real issue. The more complicated this bill gets, I think the more partisan it will be. Uh, if it were of a lower amount and it just adhere to the traditional explanations or description of infrastructure, uh, the Biden administration would be able to get a lot of um, Republicans on board. But if it begins to go into other areas, if this is just a total new green deal kind of infrastructure bill, then I think they will have problems getting Republicans on board. You would know better than anyone if you had to pick just one or two things that needed to get funded right now. Would it be would it be highways? Would it be airports? What's the most important component of infrastructure right now? Well, this administration's proposal is for two point two five trillion dollars. And of that amount, only six percent or about one hundred and fifteen billion dollars is directly related to what's traditionally called transportation infrastructure. Now, if you were to be uh, generous and include, you know, expand the uh, description of what's infrastructure and you put in like resiliency, you put in like transportation equity, uh, whatever that means, or, uh, you know, a few other EVs, for example, uh, the bill would only uh, would take about 30 percent of the 2.25 trillion. So there's 70 percent of the 2.25 trillion that is not going to traditional or even expanded version of transportation infrastructure. So I think, again, a lot of Republicans will agree with funding roads, bridges, ports, you know, uh, the transportation infrastructure, maybe even broadband and water, uh, but not the other, many other superfluous programs that really do, um, you know, talk much more about uh, the New Green Deal than anything. In fact, there was a couple of senators who very honestly, they, they committed what was called the Washington gaffe in that they told the truth. And they said, this is, this is a, you know, a new Green Deal infrastructure project. Or Senator Gillibrand uh, said that this is a human infrastructure bill. It's a heavy lift for, for Secretary Buttigieg to, uh, to be promoting that. You, I don't actually think it's just up to him. And that was always a, a you know, misunderstanding. I think this administration has been very skillful in rolling out their proposal, in deploying the cabinet secretaries to talk to their various constituent groups 
about this proposal, and uh, they had a proposal ready from the transition so that when the new Secretary of Transportation nominee was you know, um, announced, the infrastructure package was ready. In your experience as a cabinet secretary, what did you find to be the most difficult part of that job? I think it's the people. It's building consensus. You know, the policy is the easy stuff. As hard as a policy can be sometimes, the much larger heavy uh, you know, lift is building consensus. So this infrastructure bill, any infrastructure bill, begs two questions. Number one, what is to be funded? What is considered traditional infrastructure? And what is the split between rural and urban allocation of funds? And what is the role of the federal government? Is it to take on a larger and larger percentage of investment needs? And then the second question is, once you have that decided, the policy of allocation decided, how is it going to be paid? And that is always the most difficult question.